the importance of clean air, unit 3, lesson number 1. Objectives. Discuss the importance of clean air to your health. Review the parts of the respiratory system. Enumerate common respiratory disorders and diseases that may be caused by an unhealthful environment. Give an overview of the symptoms associated with such disorders and diseases. Cite ways to maintain clean, breathable air. Air is an essential natural resource that enables people to survive. It is directly involved with your respiratory system as you need to inhale gases from the air, particularly oxygen, in order for your body to function properly. When the air becomes polluted, you can inhale harmful pollutants that cause various diseases. Consistent exposure to polluted air, such as smoke, dust, and chemical vapors, can lead to impairment of some parts of your respiratory system. Now, let us first review the major parts of the respiratory system. Nasal cavity, including the sinuses, is the initial passage of the air you breathe. Air is filtered by hair components called cilia that line the nasal cavity. Trachea or windpipe is where air passes through towards the lungs. Bronchi is the branching of the trachea that connects the left and the right lobes of the lungs. The lungs are the major organs of breathing. They contain air sacs called alveoli, where oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange occurs. The diaphragm is a muscular organ under the lungs that helps control breathing. The respiratory system can be compromised when it is exposed to a polluted environment. Some examples of pollutants that affect the respiratory system include smoke exhaust from vehicles, first-hand and second-hand smoke from cigarettes, and carbon emission caused by burning, toxic fumes, dust, and vapor from factories, industrial plants, and other chemical sources can also cause respiratory illness. Some symptoms of respiratory illnesses are the following. Difficulty in breathing, production of mucus or phlegm when coughing, shortness of breath, wheezing or breathing accompanied by a whistling sound, coughing, sore throat, runny nose, enlarged lymph nodes due to infection, bluish lips, nails and skin, fever and chills, congested nose. Different respiratory diseases and disorders. A polluted environment is a melting pot of various substances and microorganisms that can harm the body. Most of the time, these harmful elements enter the body through the nose and mouth and affect the respiratory system. Here are some common ailments of the respiratory system due to polluted environment. Lung or throat cancer. This type of cancer can affect not only the lungs and throat, but also the other parts of the respiratory system. Smoking, inhaling pollutants, or stress may induce the growth of cancer cells in the body. These cells may invade and destroy parts of the respiratory system and eventually lead to grave illnesses or even death. Lung or throat cancer 
must be diagnosed at an early stage so that it can be treated immediately to increase the recovery of the patient. Bronchitis. This illness occurs when the bronchial tubes that lead air into the lungs become inflamed. It may be caused by consistent smoking which irritates the lining of the bronchial tubes leading to infection and inflammation. Bronchitis can be acute which lasts only for a few days or chronic which is more severe. Tuberculosis. This is an infectious disease that attacks the lungs. It is caused by a bacterial that can be easily transmitted from one person to another through inhalation of droplets from sneezing or coughing. A weakened immune system may have more difficulty fighting off the disease, and treatment involves months of medication that should be strictly followed to avoid the bacteria from developing resistance against the medicine. Pneumonia. This is an infection characterized by the inflammation of the alveoli in the lungs. Fluid and pus may fill the alveoli, which leads to a difficulty breathing. Other symptoms include fever, chills, and development of phlegm. Asthma. This is a chronic disease wherein the airways to the lungs become inflamed. The patient may suffer from coughing or wheezing shortness of breath, and tightness in the chest. Asthma can be genetic or can be caused by allergens in the environment or air pollution. This is a long-term disease and cannot be fully cured. However, its symptoms can be prevented or lessened by avoiding its causes. During an asthma attack, the patient can also inhale medicines that can alleviate the symptoms. Carbon monoxide poisoning. This is caused by excessive inhalation of carbon monoxide, a gas that is dangerous to the body. This gas can be produced by burning fossil fuels and other materials. Carbon monoxide can replace oxygen in the body and saturate the blood. Without oxygen cells in the body eventually become damaged or poisoned. Symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning include headaches, dizziness, chest pain, seizures, and fainting. In extreme situation, it can also lead to death. In order to diagnose and treat the above illnesses quickly, you need to undergo regular checkup with a doctor. If you start experiencing some symptoms that might lead to these diseases, make sure to inform your doctor too. Here are some common tests used to diagnose respiratory diseases. Auscultation, this is what doctors do when they use a stethoscope to listen to your breathing. Bronchoscopy, this is a procedure that uses a bronchoscope, a thin tube with a light at the end, it is inserted to the airways leading to the lungs to check for inflammation, infection, and other symptoms. Chest ultrasound. This is a test in which the doctor takes an image of the internal organs in your chest through sound waves. Through this imaging, the doctor can see the condition of your lungs. Chest X-ray. This is also an imaging test using radiation. This can detect abnormalities inside your lungs or the bones surrounding it. Tuberculosis skin test. This test is to check the presence of TB bacteria in the body. A small amount of a substance called tuberculin is injected into the skin of the arm. After 48 to 72 hours, swelling in the area will positively confirm the presence of TB bacteria in the body. Making the air safe and clean. Now that you have learned the different illnesses associated with polluted air, what do you think should you do? in order to protect yourself from these illnesses. 
you need to help and maintain the cleanliness of the air in your surroundings. As a grade 6 pupil, you can help by undertaking the following. Help in the community reforestation projects, trees and plants health lessen pollution. Segregate your trash instead of burning it. Biodegradable materials can be composted while non-biodegradable materials can be reused or recycled. Walk or ride a bicycle when going to nearby places instead of using the car or to help lessen smoke trust or exhaust rather. Turn off appliances like air conditioner when not in use. Ask your relative and elders to stop smoking and explain why smoking is bad to their health. Bring your own reusable bags when shopping instead of using plastic bags.